packing stuff up. Pack, and they're also testing the uh, fire alarm in my building today. Oh yeah, that also thing. Reversal's packing up, it's his last day. Flight leaves, uh, what, like four this afternoon? Four fifty. Four in the afternoon. We're gonna head out to LA for some last minute Pokemon Go excitement. It's actually not the earliest that I've ever been to In-N-Out. Uh, whole girl add mustard, add pickles, still come with the spread, right? Whole girl, thank you. Um, your neck. What a trick. I ate a bite of the paper. <laughs> you gotta try it all. <laughs> you gotta try it all. Rev's final wish before leaving the States was more cheeseburgers. So here we are. Yeah, In-N-Out in in for out. breakfast. In-N-Out. We're hitting a quick Ben Tim sesh here in the car before heading out to LA because uh, what's a Ben Tim sesh? We're not sesh? in a rush. Playing in the car. Oh, wow! It's defined. So I am rocking the Gotcha today, and that's because I left my Go Plus in Philip's car when we went down to San Diego last week. So he's mailing it back, but until then, this is all I have. This is my seven-day Pokestop spin, and it's oh, is there still that? Uh, there's a visual bug where it doesn't show you the evolution item. Like, I don't see it here. I don't see it here. Congratulations. <laughs> evolution item doesn't show up when you spin the Pokestop, but if you go to your journal, there it is. Upgrade. The other reason I'm here is because my homies need a little attention. This gym is hungry. So, I'm just gonna go berry crazy right now. I'm just converting my berries into Stardust at this point. He's got the strongest Pokemon in here. Oh, Who God. deserves the golden raspberry? Honestly, it was probably Snorlax, but I've already been feeding it. So here, Vaporeon's the lowest. I'm just gonna give it a golden raspberry, and it's gonna bring its motivation all the way back to full, 2711. Now, let's just talk about gyms briefly while I'm here, because there are a lot of questions. So for one thing, the new daily coin limit from gyms is 50 coins. And the way you're gonna earn those is by putting Pokemon in gyms, and they're gonna earn one coin for every 10 minutes that they're in the gym, or at least they're supposed to. It's really buggy right now. Not everyone is earning coins every time. Niantic is working on it, I am sure of it. <laughs> Excuse me. So don't worry, I know it's gonna get worked out, and a lot of people are upset that the new daily limit is 50 coins, but you guys, it's, free money that Niantic is giving you. They don't have to give you a way to earn coins at all. All right, I don't want to use too many of my berries, but the more I feed this, the better I'll level up in this gym badge. Although, to be fair, I'm not really over here that frequently, so it's not gonna benefit me too much. But you know, Stardust. If you have extra berries, you can convert them into Stardust. Oh no, what, what was that? It like defaulted to a golden raspberry. Oh, really? But when I tried to feed it, it gave me an error. That's weird. That was really weird. Did this exact- are you battling? Yeah. It's battling. That's fine. Let me spin this for my team bonus. Oh, raid pass for the day. Let me use that. Team bonus. One extra item. Alright, well, if you knock something out, then I, I can I'll, put something Yeah, it's just gonna say. There is also a raid starting here, but that's almost two hours away. We are not staying here this long. I'm gonna keep feeding. You go right ahead. I do really like the diminishing returns on berry feeding because it means one person can't just camp the gym and stop someone else from taking it down. So, good stuff there. All right, so Rev just knocked out the executor. Yes. I'm gonna make his life a little bit more difficult by, uh, I can't add anything because he's battling right now. <laughs> so after the battle. I'm gonna try to fight back a little bit. 
But with the new gym system, Niantic has actually updated it again since releasing it. So now, every time you defeat a Pokemon in a gym, it's going to lose about 28% of its motivation, of its CP, and it really only takes three battles to completely knock a Pokemon out of a gym. So three battles to take a gym from full to zero. It's a lot quicker, and you can definitely do it on your own, so props to Niantic for making that possible. Hopefully that leads to a little more turnover. I don't know. I feel like they're probably going to keep tuning it, though over the next few days because it seems really fast and really easy to take gyms down now. More good news, raids are now open to players level 20 and above. So, if you're under level 25 and you've been waiting patiently, now's your chance. Dude, Nick, I've been level 19 since the... <laughs> <laughs> so check this out. You saw the gym when Rev started battling. Look at it now, he's only battled it twice. One more battle and all these Pokemon will be out completely. And I can't even put a Pokemon in yet because you're still battling. <laughs> so uh, I guess uh, this gym is getting turned over right now. <laughs> See what I mean? It's quick. Blissey dude, really? So Nick is facing off against my Blissey right now. Cut everything in half. I guess you want to be earning money. I really made the fuck with yeah. Thank you. Boom. There it is. Three battles. I didn't even have to heal my Machamp after the second one. I really think it's possible to beat an entire gym by yourself without healing your Pokemon. I'm gonna try it once I find another full gym. Also, here's a tip. Pokemon, and this is like a weird one, Niantic. I don't know what you're thinking here. Pokemon 3000 CP and above lose motivation, lose CP at a rate of 10% per hour. Whereas Pokemon 29.99 CP and below lose it at 1% per hour. So it's not even the smartest move to place your highest CP Pokemon in the gym anymore. You want 29.99 and under. I don't understand that as a game design decision. If anyone has any ideas as to why Niantic thought that might be a good idea... Well, it might be that they want to make it that people don't only play Dragonite and Tyranitars inside of gyms. That might be a reason. But I, it's, feel like, it's still I feel like there are more effective ways to encourage that than with this system. Because now you're, you're encouraging two things. You want to power your Pokemon up so that they're strong, but not too strong because then they come out of gyms faster. There's some middle ground somewhere. Team bonus. Alright, let me give this dude a berry. And we're going to LA. here. Melrose. And uh, it's actually the first time I've gotten a Pokemon Go push notification for a Pokemon returning to me. Well, my game is not even open, so. Cool. I'm expecting a ton of Pokestops right here. Oh, yeah. Vaporeon brought me back four coins from a total of 40 minutes in the gym. Let's go in here. Hey, guys. Hi. Hey, what's up? Dude, I'm up yeah. lock 30. Wait, 2.30, you've been keeping up. I you've mean, been really keeping up, 2.30. Oh, it was the day I went out with Mystic 7. I'm gonna be honest, this thing kind of replaced Pokemon Go in my life. I noticed that. Man. I noticed that I too. see your clips. Because it's, it's a 17th century Japanese toy thing, so it's like it comes from them, but then like basically white people took it and took it to the extreme as okay. they tend to do. All right. <laughs> oh yes. There you go. Oh yes. Hey, we need to build them. Whenever we give one to an influencer, we gotta we gotta get them to like give us money. Can I try? Yeah, yeah, of course. I don't think that one's gonna work, but. Yeah, I've just been watching like Adam this play with his kendama. Advanced in comparison, where I was like, oh, I'm, in. I'm I'm committed. Yep. Oh, it's hot. You should be in. You want to? This is last hour. Dude, Nate. How's it going? How are we doing? Yo, what's what you guys up to today? Dude, this is it. I'm quitting Pokemon Go oh, for no. Kendama. Oh god. Kendama. Adam. You can thank Adam for that. Adam, did you get these guys on Kendama? 
once again. If there was a, a nuclear weapon deployed right here. It was? The Pokemon Go scene would cease to exist. That would be it. Actually, would be it. it. So we were gonna raid, but uh, Rev's flight leaves in like two-ish hours. Okay. So we gotta get him over there. But yo, it was nice hanging out. Coolest well, podcast host in the world. That Trainer was... tips, 620K. Let's get them subs up. Anybody out there who hasn't subbed, we need that. Head on over to No Jumper, Reversal, Mystic 7. I got an interview over there. He does have an interview. Go watch that. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, I gotta say. See you at Go Fest. See you guys at Go Fest. I can't speak. <laughs> Take care, man. Later, man. Let me know when you get in. I will. All right. Just dropped Rev off. Um, it was actually really great having him here, having someone to play Pokemon Go with who's as excited about it as I am. Um, having someone to edit with, like if one of us was editing, the other would be inspired to edit. So it was cool, kind of like helping each other focus on work. Um, word of advice, though. If you're flying into LAX, book your flight to land or leave at a time away from peak traffic hours. Although to be fair, it's like 3.30 in the afternoon. There shouldn't have been this much traffic. No shade at Rev. Yeah, it's um, it's it's interesting, the trends. You know, like why did MySpace go away like that? Because the operators weren't good enough. Oh my goodness. I just picked up an absurd amount of mail. This is 27 packages. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been able to get out here to pick up my mail. Because the mailbox is in Downey. The only time I'm ever out here is for family stuff. and It's either on Sunday or I'm doing the family stuff. And then by the time I'm done, the mailbox is already closed. So I renewed it. I'm going to have this mailbox for another three months, but I'm going to open up a new mailbox in Long Beach so that it's not a 45 minute ordeal for me to come pick up a package every time something gets delivered. So if you're planning on sending anything, please, uh, you can send it here, but I would appreciate it if you could hold off until I announce my new mailbox. And then I got to find time to open all these. So thank you all for sending them. I appreciate it. Yeah. Oh my god. So I want to do a raid with Chance, but my mom is not home and she has her phone. So she should be back soon. We can take Chance out on his first raid. Oh, I already been on a raid though. Okay, your first successful raid. What was your first one? Um, luck. Oh, did you win? Yeah. Oh. I thought you hadn't done a raid yet. Oh, I... Oh! How's that? I don't know where to go from there. Well, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Real quick, before the raid starts, I got some eggs hatching. We got Chance, Michael, Blake. These guys are all casuals. Yeah, they haven't played in a while, <laughs> but like, you know, raids are exciting. It's getting people excited again. So here we go. Wow. We got a wheezing raid here. I would have liked something a little more exciting than wheezing, but it's 8.30, raids shut down at 9, so this is probably our last chance. Actually, none of you guys have wheezing. No, I don't. No. I don't. New entries right here. Four, three, two, one. Not that exciting for me, but for everyone else, this is a first wheezing. Rare candy, yeah. golden raspberries. 
Golden Rush. 3,000 XP. Caught it in there. You got it? First try. First try. Let me see. New entry? Yeah. Nice. Oh, baby. It's happening. Easy. Easy. It's happening. Yay. New Pokedex <laughs> entry. Minus 12, 20. Oh, there's only one happening here. We can battle the gym. It's honestly like, it's so quick now. Yeah. Three battles and you can take, it take the gym over you completely. Are, wait, wait, are you I'm blue, man. I'm blue too. It's a race. What do you feel, Marine? 